balloon. Yeah, well, it's a fucking spy balloon. Man, inflation is out of control, you know? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'll tell you, I flew here on Air Canada. I wish it was a fucking sky balloon, because that, that airline stinks. Yeah, I assume that's what Greta Thunberg gets around in. That seems like her mode of transportation, doesn't it? Yeah. You know, she's, uh, she's 20? I always thought she was like nine. Yeah. I had no idea. I thought she's so youthful. Man, autism don't crack. Yeah. Um, good for her. I mean, hey, I'm an Asperger too. I can say that. Yeah. Tom Brady. Yeah, yeah. Well, he just retired finally, you know. Yeah, he just, uh, he got dumped by jizz. Dude, that sucks. Yeah. They had a big thing going. You know, he's a great player. Tom Brady, I always say, is like the COVID of football, you know? He's thriving in Florida, he put up some big numbers, and a lot of people never believed in him. <laughs> two Irish guys, all right, yeah. I love the Irish. You know why the Irish are great? Because they're one of the last groups you can shit on and you guys never complain. Yeah? I mean, think about all the Irish terms. It's like uh, I Irish coffee. That's just coffee with booze in it. You know, or Irish goodbye, that's where you get too drunk and forget to say bye. Or, uh, I'm gonna beat you like a redheaded stepchild. No one says they're Irish, but we know what the fuck's going on there, yeah. And they keep changing all these team names, like the, the Indians or the Guardians or the Redskins or the Commanders. Did you ever see the fight in Irish? Just a fucking drunk midget with his hat cocked, ready to go. Nobody bitches. You guys are tough, you never complain, and, you know, you guys are uh, called the, they call me the N-words of Europe, and if you rearrange the letters in ginger, all right, just say it, there we go. There you go, Irish. Dana White. Dana White. Oh, Dana White, he, he slapped the shit out of his wife. Yeah, that's right. I love the guy who's like, hey, she hit him first, you know, he's a feminist. You know what, the, the Dana White slap, he hit his wife, I wish Rogan was there to go, oh! be fun? Was there a ding? Was Herb Dean there? Like, all right, all right, all right, that's enough, that's enough. Yeah, I know he's not a fighter, but these fighter guys, they tend to hit their wives a lot. I think as they fight all day, they just go home and they're like, oh shit, sorry, I gotta keep work at work, you know? Like, look, I'm a comedian, I go home, I make jokes to my wife, she's like, could you turn it off? And I'm like, oh, okay, now I'm, maybe I will hit you. But, uh, <laughs> Miami, what a town. I love it here. Fun people. Been here three days, I think I'm gonna get lip injections and become Cuban. <laughs> I love Florida. Something about this state, you know, right when I land, I just wanna f a guy's wife. Ah. There's something in the air here. You just wanna do meth off a gay guy's ass, you know? Yeah, it's wild out here. I feel so free. The state flag of Florida should be fake tits, a handgun, and a coked up iguana on a jet ski. <laughs> No, I can't lose this, baby. This is all I got. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. There's about eight good minutes in there, baby. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's like an old pirate treasure map right there. Yeah, you know what? This, this is actually uh, Biden's hidden files right here. I got it in my pocket. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. My back is not doing well. But, uh, you know, it's from all the anal I received. But, yeah. Who was I talking about? Fondue? Yeah. That was my ex-girlfriend. She was Asian. Fondue. Oh, no. <laughs> Let me Mine was go. Jewish. Her name was Won't Do. L listen. <laughs> Let me the tell you something. <laughs> and baby shark doo 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 doo. They say. Clip it. Clip it. <laughs> you talking about the documents? Yes, yes, yes. I heard they were written by Chat GBT. But, uh, <laughs> Avatar 2, yeah, they spent more money on that than Ukraine. Uh, Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate, uh huh. Well, he just got into it with Greta Thunberg, you see that? She accused him of sex trafficking, and you know, she hates traffic. But, uh, colonoscopy. All right. You gotta do that when you're 40, right? Well, depends on what you got. Oh, shit. All right, well, I got AIDS. So, uh, I don't know what to do. All right, I got a pretty wide asshole. I think I'll be all right with the camera. I mean, you could get a full... You gotta do Kegels. Oh, you gotta do Kegels, all right. I can do that. I got a really strong asshole. Like, if I have a turd that I can't get out, I can cigar snip it with my asshole. <laughs> pretty impressive. Oh, yeah. 
I could circumcise a kid with my asshole. I'm pretty sure. Just... Oh yeah. Not saying I want a kid's uh, dick in my ass. I'm just saying, if I had to do it, I could do it. Old tight asshole Norman over here. That's what they used to call me in college. Yes, sir. Y'all need to jump on Black Instagram and Twitter. It's more fun. Oh, Black Twitter is amazing. And uh, hood clips. Oh, oh my all of gosh. that. Yeah, you can't. I realized I had to start um, on following a lot of white girls because it was too many pink organization Amazon um, box reveals for me. It's like, <laughs> and they always got miniature shit. White girls love mi- little teeny shit. Tell me about little, it. At, at, <laughs> <laughs> it's a problem. I think somebody's gonna bring up the fucking squirrel in the room. <laughs> okay, are we gonna talk about this? Sir, you've been waiting for this all night, haven't you? <laughs> I want a front row seat. What's that? No, you've soaked up enough attention with a fucking rodent on your head. Can you come on stage? No. That squirrel found its nut. I'll tell you that right now. What's your name? God damn it, the name's Garfield. You were bred for this shit. Garfield, well, sir. You hate Mondays and I hate you. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. By the way, I'm starting to think COVID started with you. Yeah. Not the Chinese thing, just the fucking squirrel. All right. Is that thing real? Is it? Oh my god! I, I bet you killed the class pet when you were younger, didn't you? And you kept it, you stuffed it, and you put it on your weird hat. You know? The hat was already atrocious, but you had to put a dead animal on top of it. All right. It bothers me that you probably get laid a lot, too, which is uh, a little off-putting. Okay. Boy, PETA, if they catch you, they're going to really beat the fuck out of you. Yeah, it's tough out there. I'm, I'm seeing somebody now, but boy, single life, yeah, that's, that's the real deal. You know? People are so condescending to single people. They go, you're single? Aw. Don't you get lonely? Like, well, sure, but how come we always assume loneliness is worse than a relationship? <laughs> I feel like loneliness is a lot easier to manage. It's easy to get out of. You get lonely, call a friend, go to a movie. If you're in a bad relationship, you're like, well, I guess I got a killer. <laughs> <laughs> or him, or him. <laughs> My ex, she was tough. My ex was like a real big feminist. I'm a feminist, but she was like, annoying. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. She would always say stuff like, men just judge women by their looks, it's all about our looks. What about our achievements? Which is true, men do do that. But ladies, you do it too, we all judge women. Yeah, right. <laughs> right? Like one time she got me flirt with another girl, and she was like, what does she look like? That was her first question. I was like, whoa, what about her achievements? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, she's a human being, goddammit. 